Hey guys, so welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. So if you're an avid follower of my video playlist, thank you, by the way, then you know that I am very enthusiastic and a big proponent of keyboard shortcuts and ergonomics in Studio One. But did you know that many are actually hesitant to change any keyboard shortcuts because they don't want to change their default configuration so that they can still work with the system of a client, a customer, a fellow contributor, a musician, and artist, you name it. Well, did you know that in Studio One, you can actually have secondary keyboard bindings for the same commands, either because it's more ergonomical for you or because you simply don't want to overwrite any of the default keyboard shortcuts. Let me show you how that's done. So here inside of Studio One, all you need to do is to go to Studio One here at the top and click on keyboard shortcuts. And you will notice that some of these commands, for example, zoom in, already have two keyboard shortcuts assigned to them. And in fact, for this command or any other command, you can assign as many shortcuts as you like. This is how you do it. So if you have a brand new keyboard shortcut that doesn't have a key yet, then you can basically enter a key. In my case, I'm just going to go for the numpad here, just hit assign. And then when you just deselect that keyboard shortcut, guess what? I can tick enter key again and then add another one or another one. Right. And now I have up to three. I'm not sure you can do more than three. I don't think you need more than three, quite frankly. I think you can. OK, with command and click on a Mac or control and click on Windows, you could actually be able to add four. See, I didn't know that either. OK, perfect. Yeah. Then we learned something together here. Five. You can see you can have however many commands as you want for the same keyboard shortcut in Star Studio One. If you have a command that already has a keyboard shortcut assigned to it. You can just deselect that and then assign another keyboard shortcut just like this. And now you have multiple keyboard shortcuts for the same command. You don't need to override any default shortcut configurations if you don't want to do that for various reasons. Or if you just want to try out a different keyboard layout, or even if you have a command that you need all the time and that should be more accessible, regardless of whether your hand is resting more on the left hand side or the right hand side of the keyboard. Thank you for watching.